Scribe is a product I'm super fond of, so thank you Scribe for sponsoring this video. During my second full-time job, I was promoted relatively quickly for three reasons. First, I had transferable skills from my management consulting days. Second, I had a very supportive manager. And third, I helped cut down the onboarding time for new hires by around 20%. In this video, I'm gonna show you why mentoring new hires at scale is such an easy way to boost your visibility in the workplace and show you free tools you can use today to do just that. Let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the third episode of Think Outside the Box, where I show you creative ways to stand out at work. And just in case any of you think I'm making this up. The core targets is the earth's core, right? And there's several layers above that. The next layer above would be, let's say, if we're able to push all our account spending level up. So in the end, the next level up is actually graduating them to other pods, which this is one of the first videos I've ever made, and it was directed towards uh, new joiners joining the sales team, teaching them the basics of digital marketing. This turned out to be a great supplement to our formal onboarding program since I included my own personal observations, as well as tips to avoid mistakes I had already made. At the risk of sounding disingenuous, I didn't do this with a goal of mine. I just thought it was a very efficient way to answer the same questions I received from new hires over and over again during our one-on-ones. But looking back, this was such an easy and natural way to increase my presence within the team, even though I just joined for about six months. And here are three reasons why. First, the curse of knowledge. This is a concept first brought up by C.S. Lewis in which he argues that people don't learn best from experts. Instead, we learn best from those who are just one step ahead of us along the same journey. And if you think about it, this is why most companies have a buddy system, right? Someone new gets paired up with a teammate who joined six to 12 months prior because the boss is too far removed from the day-to-day -day job. Which leads me to the second reason, helping senior leadership. Managers know they're not in the best position to teach new hires operational details. So by stepping in, you're doing them a huge favor and guess who has the power to give high performance ratings? That's right, Jan Levenstein. In well, this session. I'm their boss, so I'm I your feel boss. Like Third, word of mouth. According to Jonah Berger's best-selling book, Contagious, a key reason why some things get talked about more than others is because of the practical value they bring to the listener. And if you are able to share practical, tangible advice with new hires, a group of people who are encouraged to have one-on-ones with everyone and anyone during the first few months, you will be organically increasing your visibility in the workplace. Okay, Jeff, I get the benefits, all right? I mentor colleagues at work as well. I'm not getting promoted. And this is where scalability comes in. Put in plain English, helping one or two people is good, helping a hundred is great. So I'll first share what I actually did, then share what I would do today if put in the same situation. So back then, I basically took the most common questions my colleagues and I received and made a series of videos by recording my laptop screen and my voice. Shared those videos with each batch of new hires, teaching 20 to 30 people at once. I did this on a Mac using QuickTime Player, but if you're on a PC, you can do the exact same thing with free tools like OBS, Xbox Game Bar, and Zoom. Kevin Stratford has a great video on how to record your screen on PC, so I'll link his video down below as well. While this worked fine for me, there were a few downsides. For example, I didn't know how to edit videos back then, so whenever I messed up in the middle, I would have to redo the entire thing. And for nitty gritty instructions like what buttons to press, audio is actually not as effective as written instructions since you can just read the text at your own pace. Finally, the underlying product and processes get updated pretty regularly, so the videos I made would be outdated every six months or so. Which brings me to a free tool I wish existed much earlier, Scribe. Instead of telling you, let me just show you. This is a Google Ads account, this is my personal one. And all incoming digital marketers are expected to know the basics of these types of platforms like Facebook ads, TikTok ads, uh, even Reddit has an ad platform. Because the interface can be overwhelming at first, a lot of the questions I received were related to the operations of this tool. So check this out. I click the scribe extension up here, click start recording. And then I click the hamburger menu here, pick one of these campaigns at random. Let's just pick this one. Doesn't matter if you don't understand what this is. Go to ads and extensions, click ads. And for this specific ad creative, I want to pause it like so. After that's done, I click the extension again to stop the recording. 
And now a new scribe will be created in this new tab. I can edit the title to something more meaningful, like how to pause a single ad copy as opposed to pausing the entire campaign. And as you can see, scribe has zoomed into the relevant areas and captured all my mouse clicks as well. I can choose to delete a step that's not needed or change the step title uh, to something more meaningful. Click the hamburger menu like so. Uh, edit this screenshot by changing the crop around like this. Um, I can move the dot uh, and I can even redact sensitive information that might appear on screen by adding a redaction area like so. I'm just gonna do this randomly and click permanently redact, yes, proceed. And you can save this as a new step. After this is processed, you can see the area has now been redacted. You can click done and now share this link with your teammates. This is awesome. This is so simple to use and clear for the viewer and it's free. So get it by clicking the link down below. Given how hybrid and remote work trends will likely continue and you can't just sit down next to someone and look over their shoulder, think about how frustrating communicating these instructions could have been. It would be extremely annoying to type or read over email, and I still actually get emails like this at work. And presenting your screen works, sure, but that means everyone would have to dial in at the same time for something relatively simple. My advice to those of you who want to try this out, use a Google Doc as a central repository for all your scribes. When there's a batch of new hires, share the Google Doc with them and boom, they can go through all this useful information in their own time. What's more, you can track how many views your scribes got so you can include those concrete metrics in your performance reviews. And if the underlying product or process changes, you can make corresponding edits to your existing scribe. At this point, I have to mention, once you start recording, it does record your entire screen. So you might wanna check with your company's security and privacy policies uh, when using scribe more broadly. I'll link scribe's own privacy policy down below as well. Of course, you can always fall back to my original method of recording your screen and your voice. It takes a bit more work, but let me know down in the comments if you want a video teaching you how to do that step-by-step. Step. If you found this helpful, you might want to check out my Think Outside the Box playlist for more creative ways to stand out at work. See you on the next video. And in the meantime, have a great one.